What is up, planet? It is the priest, and I'm back with another pick a card reading. In today's pick a card reading, we have wealth messages. So this was a highly requested video from you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to vote on the community tab. I'm gonna start doing a lot more interaction there so that I can see what you guys are looking for. I know that we're going through huge shifts in 2021, like huge shifts. So you might be finding yourself watching more tarot readings. So I am honored to be able to guide you on this journey. So if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and join the Tarot Tribe where we embrace love, happiness, freedom, true spirituality, and everything soul food over here. So you're going to receive some deep, deep insights and messages from Source, Universe, whichever you choose to believe regarding your financial situation and wealth. So this is going to be a very, very impactful video. I mean, some of the cards that I've been getting for you, if you are here, are some pretty, pretty heavy financial empires that some of you guys are going to be building. So I'm really excited to join jump into this. Our, remember, nothing is a coincidence. You're here to hear the messages around wealth. We have deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. All right, let's hop into the reading and see what you guys have for wealth messages. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and higher self messages regarding your wealth. Before we get started, the first thing that I'm seeing is we have number 33. So 333 three, three could be a number that you've been seeing or will be seeing coming up in the next few months here. I also feel like three is representation of expansion. So it's usually mother, file, father, child, and where two come together and create expansion. So the three represents collaborations, also represents team. But I see that there's going to be a key here to your wealth. I have control over the thoughts I think. So this is the first card that you guys have. Since you have control over your thoughts and the thoughts you offer, what could be more just than the powerful law of attraction? Respondingly, equally. So basically this is saying that the universe is going to respond whether it's negative or positive. It doesn't really matter uh, what you are signaling out. The universe is always going to respond. It says once you gain control over the thoughts you think, your sense of injustice will subside and will be replaced with embracing a zest for life. Let everything in the universe be an example to you of the ways that the laws of the universe work. So I'm definitely feeling that some of you could have ideas or wanting to expand your finances, but sometimes have negative thoughts around whether or not you can do it. But one, one thing that I'm hearing very clearly, deck number one, is that every journey starts with a step. And to just simply start somewhere and starting this process is going to be the foundation of things. It's not to worry about how it's going to happen, but more so to be open to allowing it to happen, even if you don't know how. Okay, let's see the key to your abundance is splendor. So I definitely feel like enjoying life and enjoying the things of life is a part of what your higher self wants you to do, to have the best, best quality of things, to actually enjoy it. They're saying that more finances would come if you simply just enjoyed what you have now, enjoying um, the best of the moments, nature. I definitely feel like nature is really, really big. Some of you guys could have some dreams of traveling. Um, for some of you, it could be even Bali or Indonesia or um, East Asia. I'm seeing a lot of you wanting to just travel. So I'm sensing that it's interesting because we think that we should wait until we enjoy it, right? And that's kind of something that you're breaking free from is feeling like you have to have a reason to enjoy or enough money to enjoy. I'm definitely seeing as you just start following these enjoyments, more money comes. Divine Matrix, yeah, 44. So now we have 3, 3, and we also have 44 here, a grand symphony. So yeah, everything is already working in your in the divine it's supposed to be it's more so just surrendering to allowing and understanding that everything is in synchronicity the only thing that i feel like could be blocking more finances is you being out of alignment now many people think you have to work hard to receive a lot of money but it's truthfully being in alignment is what's going to help you receive a lot of money and being in alignment is simply just feeling good feeling good because you know everything's in alignment Okay, so I definitely feel like what you do have control over is the thoughts that you are thinking. So if you guys did not hear the very first message of the intro, 
we did a webinar series on abundance, removing limitations, attracting abundance, bringing your ideas to life, profiting from them. If you guys are interested in learning more about that, check the description box for the abundance power pack or the pinned comment down below because I'm definitely feeling like we have some blockages here. We have the miser. Okay, so this is like greed or holding on to your money because maybe you feel like you should be responsible. Wow. That's a tough one because it's it's tricky, right? We want to be responsible. We have bills and things we have to pay, but there's also this balance that's required for this enjoyment to bring more. So when I ask what's blocking, these are the cards that came up, the miser. So this is also understanding the more you hold on to money, the more you are not open to releasing it if you're holding on too tight to it. So that's something too that I want to kind of get clarity on. Yeah, patience investments and don't worry about time 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 has nothing to do with it even with the divine matrix you're learning how to break free from matrix things and matrix things are they're starting to shatter nine to five jobs traditional jobs things are starting to become more creative let's see why the four of pentacles is here for wealth messages thank you yeah, patience card came out again, seven of pentacles, I was seeing that. So yeah, if some of you feel like it's not happening or maybe again, there's this energy of having hope but not wanting to have too much hope for things, uh, for your finances to get better. But I'm definitely hearing that spirit is saying, saying to change your perspective on how you see money. And that's why I said the abundance power pack will definitely help you. And even just learning that we can be, we are our own blockage when it comes to more money because I am seeing that there is more money in your life. Let's just see who you're here to become financially. We have Beyonce and we have J. Paul Getty, which is huge. Okay. Yeah. That just changed shifted the energy, didn't it? Oh my goodness. See, it's easier to kind of just like let things go when we don't know that there's more for us to obtain. See, it's easier for us to really, you know, let things go like, okay, maybe these dreams or financial profit will come later. But I'm definitely sensing that with J. Paul Getty, freedoms don't build trust funds. So I'm seeing that with J. Paul Getty, this is someone who is very, very successful, very wealthy. One of the most wealthiest, I feel like, in, in the past 200 years. And I'm definitely sensing that with the frugality in life, it says freedoms don't build trust funds. A true friend sp splits the bill, even with a billionaire. So this is, um, I'm definitely feeling like maybe some of the things that spirit has given you, you have been giving away. You know, the truest thing is that the difference between, you know, millionaires and people with a lot of money is that they charge for their services. And I'm seeing that some of you guys are giving away these services or freebies, and it's not really uh reproducing fruit. And so I'm definitely sensing that a lot of your money could be spent in an emotional way or where you're moved the most. Now with Beyonce coming out, some of you guys could be into the artistry. You could be into dancing. You could be into singing. You don't have to be, but you could also just be really inspired by music or creativity. I'm sensing that some of you guys could even be dancers and we have your public images, your private property, brand, your benevolence. So definitely it's like what some Someone who is here has something. I don't know if you guys have started your business just yet, um, but I definitely sense that there is a stream of income that's coming in when you change your perspective on how money flows to you. Some of you have gifts that you don't even realize that you've been giving away for free services. It doesn't matter how small or minute you think the service is. Okay, the service can be something as small as organization, cooking, expertise, Maybe some of you have done things that many others could not have done. Okay, so some of you guys have expertise here. So we have deep love, mother's milk, we are the haters. We also have birth as a portal, ace of pentacles. So some of you are going through a rebirth of, of your perspective of money. We have Capricorn energy. You could be a Capricorn, you don't have to be. We also have a lot of twos. So some of you are, I, I feel like spirit is higher self is saying that there's going to be a new found perspective, a new found vision of money and how it flows to you. And some of you do have gifts and maybe just are worried about the competition or maybe not having enough faith or belief that this could actually come about because I'm sensing that 
Uh, the things that you're worried about when it comes to money are not your concern. They're truthfully the universe's concern. We understand that we are here to co-create. You're not doing this on your own. So some of you, have, Spirit is urging you to get back to your dreams here. And then also frugality, that's something I want to, uh, you know, kind of talk about here. Even with the miser, I was saying it's hard to receive money when your, your palms are like this. Now I have to save or, oh, should I spend this? That energy prevents money from flowing. And remember, money in abundance flows to abundant places. And the crazy part is most of the most abundant places are the places where we have the most fun, entertainment, billions of dollars, where we have the most fun, okay? And so this is something too, is with even with the splendor, enjoyment is what's gonna create a good energy of flowing. So I do sense that there could be some blockages with just more money coming in now let's clarify why the Seven of Pentacles is here. Yeah, I want to pull another card too. All right, messages for deck one regarding wealth. Why is it Four of Pentacles here? Yeah, some of you are definitely, definitely maybe stressed out or worried about how this is going to happen, but the biggest grenade to repelling money is worry. Just simply worrying. Worry is a vibration that blocks money, all of the money. Worry blocks so much stuff. And it's like, well, how do we not worry about finances? Find a different shift. And I'm definitely seeing when you can see that your finances are providing even sense of freedom and enjoyment for you and having more of a love for it, it will come much quicker. J. Paul Getty is someone who owned banks. So some of you who got the Beyonce, it says that Beyonce is a household brand. So some of you could have something to do with household um, names that you could be getting into the sense of creating. Also speaking, it doesn't have to just be singing. It could be poetry, but there's definitely a creative side that I'm seeing you can brand and sell. Okay, I'm definitely sensing that. So you, you do have a brand. So if you're here, you do have a brand. Now, J. Paul Getty, okay, so oil is what he's known for. He ran the Getty Oil, once the wealthiest private citizen on earth. He kept friends at arm's length from his wallet. So a lot of people, it's interesting because sometimes we block blessings because we feel like if we have more money, it brings like more people who are not honest or authentic. Very, very strange uh, limits that we have that we're unaware of. Again, they're blind spots that are just preventing more money from coming in. So obviously here with the J. Paul Getty, there was an issue with just understanding authenticity, who's really here for my money, who's not. And and I, be, I definitely feel like you guys are going to have either a soulmate or someone, a friend that inspires you to get this going, because I'm definitely seeing that it's something that you really wanted to do at some point and maybe just didn't look at it. The devil says you could become or could have become just codependent on someone providing for you that stream of income. But I'm definitely seeing that you will be planting your own seeds in your own money trees. Okay, so he established a trust also, and he's known for bargaining and also collecting art and tax deduction. So this person, J. Paul Getty, really knew a lot about money. So having that understanding and education of that. The last thing I want to say to you, deck number one, is also to understand that this is already in your cards. This is already in your destiny to have this wealth. It's now just being open and receptive to it. Let's see why the devil is here. Yeah. And we also have revealing your true self. So some of you are going through an integration here. In the next couple of months, there's a huge shift of a, a revelation of who you have been this entire time. And maybe the person, the greatness in you that you have been hiding, that's actually going to bring in more finances for you. So the amethyst is here too. It says, as you allow others to know the real you, your you'll feel loved for who you truly are. So whoever you truly are is the abundant one. Okay. And some of you might not even want to be like in public. Some of you might want to be behind the camera. And so take it how it resonates four of cups right now. It's your 
greatest financial shift is going to happen where your fulfillment is. Many of you are coming up as the Empress in reverse. And also this represents rebirth. This represents a brand. And I'm definitely sensing that there are a lot of identities or beliefs about yourself that have to go away or be removed in a sense, plucked so that you can now open yourself up to receiving more money because whoever you are truly is the one who is abundant, is the one who is wealthy. So overall, what type of success do you have? So overall, let's look at deck number one and what type of success you have coming in their future for deck one. Nothing is a coincidence. So if you're seeing it, it is meant to be. That's what I'm hearing. Elon Musk. Satoshi Tajiri. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but I'm very familiar. So obviously Elon Musk, the owner of Tesla, SpaceX Force, someone who is just really not limited, doesn't really believe in any limitations here. Um, also, I am predicting that Elon Musk will be a trillionaire. That was my prediction a few uh, I, I believe it was a few months back on my Twitter, okay? It says, you can't make an omelet without risking a few nest eggs. So yeah, some of you might have to risk some eggs here to, to have a bigger vision here. And remember, what you're doing this for is freedom, to live your dreams, financial freedom, creativity, expression. All of this is happening and money is just aiding these dreams and passions that you have. It says, Icarus lacked a better spacecraft. Hitch your wagon to the future and design it yourself. So some of you may be waiting for that ship to come in or the boat to come in or the opportunity to come in, but you're the opportunity and you will create that. And that's what Elon Musk is known for, a trendsetter, is designing it himself, not really caring about what people say he could or could not do. Now we have teach your pet project new tricks, play the game like you invented it. If you were creating a monster, license it. So some of you could even get into licensing. So there are many, many, many ways you can profit much more abundance in your life. This is a lot of money here. So if you guys chose deck number one, you are not hearing this as a coincidence. So teach your pet project new tricks. Let's get some insight on who this person is in depth. It says, I choose you, Pikachu, to be my financial advisor, created by a video game. So he launched 1996 Nintendo's Japanese games and franchised them. So he's into gaming, trading cars, toys, movies, TV, and licensing. And so basically what I love about this is that this has, this is the secret to finding your wealth is finding yourself. And as you find yourself and you reveal who you really are, the people of the success that your higher self is really saying that you have in your cards, then the money flows to you and the abundance flows to you. And it makes sense because some of you, I definitely feel like are trying to make sense of how you will make this happen. But if you follow your passions, anything can happen. This person followed his passion of Pikachu and Nintendo games, and now he sold it for billions of dollars. Okay, so we have billionaires here. All four of these have access to billion dollar products. So let that sink in and remember, nothing is a coincidence. So if you're here, this message is definitely for you, but don't get overwhelmed. I'm hearing higher self say, don't get overwhelmed thinking you have to create this empire yourself. You and spirit are co-creating this together. So if you guys show deck number one, this is your reading. I hope I was able to give you guys some clarity on wealth messages from your higher self. You guys have some pretty big dreams here. Just because you don't know how doesn't mean you should let it go. So follow those passions and desires. I can't wait to see what you guys say in the comment section down below. Sending you so much prosperity. I'm on to deck number two. All right, if you guys show deck number two, this is your reading and higher self messages regarding your wealth and your finances. 
we have achieving success is my natural birthright so if you guys did choose this card i'm heavily heavily feeling like you guys are going towards building or, or planting money trees if you guys didn't hear the first message in the intro we did an abundant series power pack down below so if you guys are interested in that check out the pin or the description we talk a lot about the money trees and planting your seeds but i am sensing even with the four here you might be seeing fours four is all about the profit of your fruits of the labor that you have been planting or are waiting to receive so some of you guys could have already planted these seeds or maybe some of you planted them and you're not really seeing your trees grow now the biggest thing here is just understanding that being successful is your birthright it's just who you are there's no because I work hard or because of this, it just is. So there is a sense of acceptance that I'm sensing here for you to receive more abundance in your life. You are meant to succeed and failure should feel bad to you. Life is supposed to go well for you. And when it does not, there's something wrong. What, but what is wrong is not something that is outside of you over which you have no control. What is wrong is within you and you do have control. Taking control is not difficult to do once you understand the basis of who you are, the basics of the law of attraction and the value of your personal emotional guidance system. So this is about how you feel. So if you don't feel like you deserve it or you're worthy of it, which is definitely here because to have to be reminded that this is just your birthright, you don't have to earn it. It's not because you got a degree. It's not because you know the most about one industry, none of that. It's all about your alignment with source, source is infinite. So there's definitely going to be some preaching going on here, deck number two. So if you guys did not see the abundance power pack, definitely check that out. It is what it is. Exactly. That's what I'm saying, spirit. That's what I'm saying. It is what it is. You are successful, period. Now it's just dealing with the resistance of all of the beliefs and the limits and the doubts that are saying otherwise. Now, the key to your success, we pulled one card, nurture. So some of you could be parents. We, we got Ellen DeGeneres at the, the bottom of the deck, and we have Janet Yellen. So we're going to take a look at these two people here. Um, whoo, you guys got some powerful energy, TVs, networks. Okay, most of your abundance will come from your excitement and inspiration to give. Okay, so whatever you're nurturing, whether that it is your family, whether it's your relationships, and you can see she's abundant. She's got tons of gold on. She looks like she's in some type of nature setting here. So I'm also feeling very, very um, heavy attracting abundance vibes. So nurturing some of these seeds, right? So some of you have ideas, but there's a lot of ideas starting with one seed and just nurturing it until you see it sprout and then going from there. Now we have Ellen DeGeneres. So this is all about the wealth. So I asked about who your guys' wealth was similar to. And you guys, if you chose deck number two, we got Ellen DeGeneres. So basically what this is, is it's not, it doesn't have to be exactly her. It's TV network, scripts, writing, producing, vlogs, um, YouTube. Some of you might be even inspired to start your own networks. So yeah, this is some heavy message. So if you came here, this is for a powerful wealth message. I used wealth specifically because these people have wealth. And so we're not baby talking over here. This is the real deal. No such thing as coincidence. If you're here, there is success here. So a Sentai millionaire. So this would be someone who has over a hundred million. So with number one talk shows, lifestyle brand, digital networks, production and record companies, also a Netflix deal. So this has a lot to do with TV and hosting, vlogging, all of that. So some of you guys could be in the line of this, either way, I'm sensing that there is some success here for you in some type of networking. It could be scripting, producing, YouTubing, vlogging, follow your inspirations and nurture them. Because I definitely feel like this is the door to your success because it's being true to yourself. When you're not true to your beliefs of, or your dreams, you're not true to yourself. When you're true to yourself, the abundance flows very, very easily, okay? So we have Janet Yellen, and we're going to also clarify, before the Great Recession, U.S. government economist Janet Yellen sounded private alarms about the collapsing housing market. So this person is definitely into housing um, and also did a lot of policy working. So maybe some of you want to get into this business. Um, and also what I'm sensing is from her, she was heavily close to 
it seems like the chairman of the United States Reserve. So some of you guys may have a desire to get into politics. Let's go ahead and clarify that. We have, if it's gonna crash, it needs government cash. When it rains, make it rain. So I definitely feel like what this is reminding you of is that you have a lot of wealth in your line that if anything did happen, a recession happened, you will have enough money. Like that's the type of wealth that you have. And it's, I feel like you guys have like family wealth. Like I feel like there's an extension here. You will be a fountain of wealth, but there are many people around you. So it says when it rains, make it rain. You can teach a man to fish, but you'll also need to stimulate a fishing industry. So she was very smart and very wise in the industry that she wanted to be in. I'm, I'm hearing that you guys can do whatever you want. And that's kind of what she did. Like she just came in and took control over an industry and also the economic status of it. So she was very, very smart with her money. So I'm sensing that some of you could be connected to some investments. Now, as far as Ellen DeGeneres, we have find where personal meets personable. So this means being more of yourself, okay? So if you guys are getting into the YouTube and the vlogging, being more of yourself, not caring about what people think, you'll hear a lot of content creators say that. So kill with kindness, resuscitate with humor. So this is also not taking it so seriously how you're going to make this money or how this success is going to come in. Have fun, literally have fun, joke, um, and enjoy it. That's where the best content is going to be produced as well as what i'm hearing other messages for deck two what type of wealth is in their life oh it's raining dang that's crazy because it just started raining when it rains make it rain so you guys are gonna definitely be making it rain all right we also have share wing so this is another person who competed in the market for spotlight okay let's see what share wing is about She's not really in the spotlight. So some of you might not even want to be in the spotlight. You might be producing, but you're still like in the spotlight, you know, the industry of it. All right. Born into the tech dynasty. Yeah. So now we have the tech, social media tech. So this is a hands-on company, hands-on CEO and founder and chairman of a Taiwanese company. Um, also Wing entered the smartphone revelation. So this was someone who was very innovative. They knew where it was going. Some of you just, this is about believing in some of these signs that you have. This is also someone who signed us a billion dollar deal with Google. Um, and, but Wang avoids attention in interviews and controversies and she's agreeable and charitable, charitable work. So some of you may just be the producer behind some of this stuff and not being so pressured to be in the forefront of it. So let's see what else is here for you guys. Okay, with your finances, break the chain. Yeah, so some of you may have grown up or grew up in a poverty, um, you know, environment. We talk a lot about that as well in that in the abundance power pack, where just where you plant your seeds makes a difference. And if you're planting your seeds around people who speak words of uh, poverty, it's really hard to. Uh, build your money trees or water some of these projects that you have if the right people around them are not also helping you nurture them and so that's something that i'm hearing too um so it starts like i'm hearing very clearly not to get overwhelmed with where you're going but just to take it a step at a time okay so we have tender embrace so we have 22 two, two. so i definitely feel like some of you could have a life partner or a partner that's in your life that is going to help you it could also just be a soulmate and i'm sensing that you guys are definitely going to rewrite the future of wealth like what people said you couldn't do what you can't do um, all of that you're breaking those chains and how you break those chains is just to simply think differently okay to understand that you are abundant therefore abundant shall flow to you so that's why it's going back to who you are. Now your blockages with your finances, patience, okay? Other blockages for deck two, healing. So yeah, because you're, because you're excited and inspired to become wealthy, not just for yourself, but for others, I definitely see that it could, could have been or be a struggle getting to this place by yourself without the help of others. So your emotional your emotional guidance system because they said that here is very important some of your impasse so it's about how you feel so if you ever feel bad ever even if you don't know you feel bad it could be subconscious towards money it's literally a repellent it doesn't just say come on money come on come on in it pushes it away if you um don't feel good about receiving it or having it or don't feel good in general 
If you had a bad day, it's like, uh, less likely to make more money. So I do see that your in emotions are connected to your finances, how you feel, you feel good, money flows. You feel bad, money doesn't, it goes. So that's something too, I'm sensing that there's like some type of push and pull with your, your emotions and your finances. Okay, anything else blocking? We have laziness that came out and we have new vision. So definitely could be putting in some more work here. Let's get the confirmation for laziness because this is usually a good lazy. You see this person's in a robe um, by the water, relaxing on vacation. This is your guys' life. So I'm definitely sensing that you could have been experiencing a challenging time over the last year with your finances because spirit is trying to get you to shift to see that self-sufficiency is the key. All three of these people did it on their own. Self-sufficiency, own network, own smartphone um, software, CEO. So this is in a sense, a shift of getting you to see yourself as this before it can come in as well. And not to question why you're great or why you're successful or why you're meant to be um, a millionaire for, for most of you if you're here, that's, that's what it is. So this isn't by coincidence, this is what it is. <laughs> and that's just what Spirit keeps saying, it is what it is. Like whether you don't see it for yourself, it's always within you to have this financial freedom. Yeah, so the Eight of Cups here. So just walking away from emotional things and having more trust and faith that your dreams can actually come into fruition. Strength, yeah, so we have Leo energy. So this is really good, having the confidence in yourself. This is gonna come as you gain more self-awareness. Because if you don't know that you're the lion, you will not know exactly the greatness that you have. So if you're looking in the mirror and you're not seeing a lion, you're seeing a turtle or something else, another animal that does not embrace the strength and the ambition and the courage and just the confidence that the lion has. That's the shift that's happening, seeing yourself as the lion, the star Aquarius energy. So yeah, this is definitely a shift that's happening. You guys could have went through some spiritual awakenings because your finances, your dreams, your desires, your passion, your joy, that's all driven in spirituality, in what you cannot see, in fulfillment. And that's why the fool is here. So the star is here, something is shifting for you guys tremendously here. We have the star, this is also about hope, this is about ambition, and these are two heavy major arcana cards, okay? Heavy, heavy major shifts taking place within yourself and your reflection so that you can um, receive this. King of Wands, I love it, but there's a woman on the card, which is dope because obviously gender, there's no such thing with energy, but with the King of Wands, you're becoming much more authoritative, okay? In your masculine energy, confident to say, I can do this by myself obviously with the help of the universe, or I can just do this my way, you know, not letting people close the door on you, but embracing this leadership role. Okay. And those of you who are still working in a field and you desire to make more money, I'm definitely sensing that, you know, there's certainly a shift here for you to be in an authoritative position working for someone because you don't have to be a CEO if you're here. You don't have to be that. I do feel like for majority of you, there will be a lot of opportunities for you to kind of break that chain of starting your own business. But I'm definitely sensing that there is an upgrade happening regardless. Eight of Wands in reverse. We're gonna clarify that. Yeah, this is all about financial freedom. Some of you really desire to have financial freedom here and that's what spirit is shifting you into, which is why the self-sufficiency is so important because no job is promised. It doesn't matter how great the company was. And we've seen that in 2020. So it's really shifting our vision here. Yeah, the five of pentacles in reverse. I definitely feel like you guys might even buy a home or buy a property, some of you. Yeah, I'm seeing that some of you are getting set up to buy something. Could be a cottage, um, could be a vacation home. Some of you might even be looking to Airbnb. Um, I'm definitely sensing that you guys are going to come up with some type of plan, but there seems to be someone else. It could be a family business. It could be anything that has to do with that. An adventure. Some of you could be married or in a relationship, building something together because we definitely, we see this here, the tender embrace. And then we also have Leo energy again. So this is definitely happening for you guys. And all it is, is believing that you can achieve it. Even with this five of pentacles, it's in the reverse. This is the poverty card. 
accepting prosperity into your life. Ceremonies and celebrations. Yep, it's a time of important life passages such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, and anniversaries. So something huge is getting ready to shift in your life. It already has been, but some type of ceremony or celebration, like I said, some of you guys could be getting promotions and opportunity coming in here, a project in alignment with now that we've kind of, now that this information is to you, you're going to start seeing the universe watering your seat. So just pay attention to the signs, you know, who pops up on your feed and who you're drawn to, because that is also a sign of who you really are. Passion and purpose. Your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart. Exactly. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit always comes through and confirms. So there is some type of passion that is connected to your purpose here. Purpose not being heavily like worried about what you're here to do, because that's just simply enjoying and experiencing. But your passion that was given to you at some point of time could have been in childhood could have been in teenage year it never goes away the dream never goes away so you some of you will be the generational breaker of poverty poor broke all of that will not resonate with you guys very soon i mean you're just shifting and it's beautiful now it's just about embracing that this is who you are so if you guys chose deck number two, hopefully I was able to inspire some messages here for you to be open to this wealth that's coming to you. Don't forget to hashtag down below. I am wealthy. If you guys chose deck number two, thank you guys so much for allowing me to guide you on your readings. Can't wait to see you guys in the next pick a card reading. Moving on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading in higher self messages regarding your wealth. So right off the bat, if you guys were drawn to this deck, you can see that this is the third eye here. So there's huge expansions here happening for you. I am always receiving the essence of what I am giving. Let's see what this is about. Deck three, appreciation and love and alignment to do which is source, is the ultimate way to give back, so to speak, for in your pain or struggle, you have nothing to give back. What you are living is always an exact replication of your vibrational patterns of thought. Nothing could be more fair than life as you are living it. For as you are thinking, you are vibrating. As you are vibrating, you're attracting. And so you are always getting back the essence of what you're giving. So what you put out, you will receive, is the theme of your guys' message. Let's see what the key to your wealth is. Positive outlook, yep. It's all about your vibrations, deck number three. So if you guys did not hear in the very beginning of the intro, we did an abundance series. You guys can find that down below in the description or the pinned comment. We're talking about removing these limitations. Sometimes we don't know that our vibration is basically rejecting financial streams of income because abundance is not just money. It's more than enough. That's what abundance means, more than enough. And what you are looking to attract is more than enough money. So much money that you pay all your bills. You look at your account and you're like, whoa, all my bills are paid. They're all, they're all, they're good. Like that's the next level of your life. That's not even like what you're here to achieve. There's so much more here, which I love. Yep. The uncharted sea. So there's so much for you to obtain. Okay. So spirit is saying to start thinking about more of what you do want. And also there's nothing wrong with wanting more material things and riches. It's who you are. You are abundant at your core. And so therefore you will attract abundance. So a, an abundance of many things, an abundance of wealth, an abundance of health, but also an abundance of what you put out. And so whatever you've been receiving in your reality, they're saying to be aware of it so that you can now start receiving what you really, really want. Yeah, broken open exposed and revealed so there's some things here that i feel like maybe you did not know or were not aware of in your finances that have been limitations sometimes we think that we know what these limits are like yeah okay okay i'm gonna move the limitation i'm gonna say this these words of affirmation but you really have to be honest with yourself about how you feel so if you go to a restaurant or you go somewhere and you and you can't afford it or you feel like you can't afford it that feels bad and so that is an awareness of okay i don't like this feeling why do i feel like i cannot afford this i am abundant and we cannot rely on the numbers in our bank account see this is what we talked about in the abundance power pack 
So I'm definitely feeling like some lies that maybe you have been telling yourself, like we many of us do, I have to work hard in order to do this, or once I get this, this will happen. And the truth is, is that being in alignment, feeling good about money is the best way to attract it. So let's see what, what these blockages are for deck three. The fool, exhaustion, and experiencing. Okay, we have two wands here. So lots of energy around your finances, but we also have uncharted sea and the fool, which is the unknown. So this is about sometimes getting hung up on the how it's gonna happen so much that we're trying to like learn how it's gonna happen, but spirit and universe says, that's not your job. That's not your job to know how many realities have to be shift before you're a millionaire. It's not your job. <laughs> it's deep, it's deep. It's like this connection is with source, understanding you are connected to infinite. So there is no such thing as not having. So this is why I said this is a deep, deep, these were gonna be deep messages. We have the eye here, okay? It's the way you're seeing money. So spiritually, we're gonna start looking at money from an energetic perspective, okay? And so when you feel exhausted, it's hard to, to have money come in because you don't feel good. Money is attracted and the, the universe works in our favor, good or bad. But if we feel bad, we just produce a lot of bad things. It's again, a law of attraction. So experiencing, so there's more to, for you to experience. And I'm sensing more maybe doubts. And that's the thing is like, sometimes these doubts are blind spots. We cannot see them. And I feel like something's happening where spirit's trying to expose some of the things that we're missing. And again, there's levels to this, to receiving a lot of money. Yeah, I love this deck three. Make sure you stay tuned for this entire reading. This is about to be really powerful. Seven of pentacles here. So this is patience and also process. Okay, starting to plant your money seeds. Let's see what type of wealth deck three is meant to have. Thank you, JK Rowling. So some of you could be authors. Now, JK Rowling is the creator of Harry Potter. Yep. When inspiration struck Rowling on a delayed train in 1990, she took notes and five years later, manuscripted The Wizard of Harry Potter. Rowling shopped her book around, received tons of no's, and one yes, Harry Potter has since grown into seven global bestsellers, eight box office hits, and a franchise of theme park proportions. Once struggling is now richer than the Queen of England. Her energetic, isn't that interesting how they said that? Her energetic charity. So what she has given through her books. So some of you may be over underlooking your value by thinking about what you have in your pockets. It's not about the money. It's about the value. What does the money represent? If we really think about it, because in the next few years, currency may not even be a thing with so many crypto, bic, this, and so many prefixes to keep up with. There's so many different currencies, but what is really behind the money is the value. So she was able to give value through her books. She was able to give value through her fiction, her novels or her stories. And so some of you may think, what do I have to offer? But you have an experience. You have so many things to offer. Okay. So, but her stock and good karma remain strong. So let's look at who else you have for the wealth. Walt Disney. So definitely some visionaries here on the board. Some of you guys have some really, 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 really big, big ideas here with Walt Disney. This is all about your vision. But what's really cool about Walt Disney is he started with just animation, just pulling, you know, the strings of these characters. If you guys have not seen the image, I think it's the imitation of Walt Disney. It's a documentary really good on Netflix. I mean, it's like, you know, Walt Disney, we all do, but to, that's how your future self feels. Your higher self knows you. You're already this. Now it's just catching up to that. So while you're watching that movie the entire time, it's like, come on, you're Walt Disney. But he keeps creating these other characters and you're like, okay, that's not it. That's how your future self is. That's how your higher self is, is you're already this person. It's just catching you up in the physical realm to this person. So it says, is it cute? Does it sing? That's the way to make cha-ching. 
So pull all the heartstrings. So some of you guys could have some very simple, cute ideas, children's books. Yeah, definitely children's books here for some of you guys. Oh, so many beautiful things for you guys. Okay, Mickey Mouse, co-creator, Walt Disney. Feel good, sells good. Isn't that crazy? What did we just, spirit, I can't, I can't, okay. Walt Disney found that feel good sells well. It's all about how you feel. So sensing the Great Depression, so he created Snow White because of the Great Depression. Early business failures also taught that, obviously, you know, he went through Goofy, Donald Duck, so many things. And then it says he continued his occupation with resorts in Tokyo, Hong Kong, and Shanghai, and since has received 26 Academy Awards and the empire that causes an early onset brand loyalty. It says, if you make a name for yourself, why stop at one? Some of you have more than you think. Some of you have, so you are sitting on piles of gold, piles of gold. <sighs> Deck three, so much wealth. And you've been spending so much time trying to figure out how, but that's not our job. It's like trying to figure out how the sun's gonna come up. It's just not our job to synchronize things. You know, you can't formulate meeting the right people in the right places at the right time. You cannot do that work. You just follow the alignment of feeling good. Okay. Piles of gold, okay? Of information, knowledge, books, stories. All of it is valuable, is what I'm hearing. Not to overlook the value. Okay, why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Yep, Ten of Cups, it's happening for you, Deck Three. Deck Three, you will be rich in this lifetime. So come back and let me know. All right, there's one more person here though. Ooh, yes, Robert L. Johnson, the creator of BET. So overlook markets, Deck Three, are right in front of you. They're right in front of you. And sometimes it takes us getting burnt out before we just were laying in our bed like, oh, that's the idea. And Spirit's like, yeah, I was waiting for you to just get out the way so I can. So basically with this, um, Robert L. Johnson also later sold BET to Viacom. I think it was in 2001 or something around that. And so this is also really big in the network. So network to net worth. E, interrupt regularly scheduled programming. So there are overlooked markets right in front of you that you guys have been just overlooking, maybe because you didn't understand how it connected, how it was going to work out. 11, 11 on the clock. Okay, the full... Again, so we have the full twice. Let's just confirm because the fool is all about being a fool, a child. Because when we're a child, we can imagine. In fact, that is the message if you're here. Get back to the child in you, the inner child. The inner child is what sells the most. It feels good. You have fun. It's creative. And that energy of fun feels good, reaps the rewards and the profits. But the fool means relinquishing all of your control. This is something I had to do. I shared it again in the Abundance Power Pack where, with my journey. I've written so many books and I thought this was the way until I literally let it go and said, okay, I surrender. And then tarot was it. Probably, I, I actually probably would have believed parachuting way before tarot, to be honest with you guys. But that's the way that spirit works sometimes. So the fool is here twice. This is about relinquishing the going through the unknown with your eyes closed taking a leap. I don't know where or how, but I'm going to follow what feels good. Clarify why the fool is here two times. Okay. We have the four of pentacles. So I talked a lot about that in deck two. You guys could have been going back and forth. This is all about being open to receiving more, not to be frugal, understanding that your money is energy, even where you spend it. Where are you spending it? Where you spend it is where it's what's going to grow on the outside, on the other side of the stick. So I'm going to spend here and to reciprocate back, you know, whether that's a meal, clothing, attire, I'm hearing that where you spend your money is going to grow. So make sure that you're spending your money on your investments. So those can grow as well. Yeah. Ace of cups, something new is coming in here. Something that you really, really have been maybe um, having a cycle or a failure. Some of you, it could just be changing your approach. Okay, could just be changing your approach. 
taking a step back so that some things can be revealed to you. Okay, we have the Five of Cups. So, you know, things that... I love that the Five of Cups is on J.K. Rowling because J.K. Rowling is a prime example. I believe she was homeless. She was living out of her car, trying to figure out how to get this series up. But she had so many no's. And I know that, you know, sometimes people say, no, the Five of Cups, this is regret or maybe not really feeling the breakthrough, having that discourage about a certain project that maybe you're going to get fired up about again. Um, but not to be discouraged, but also not to put so much pressure on some of these ideas coming forward is what I'm hearing. Just allow them to, to grow naturally and having a positive outlook is part of your investment as well is what I'm hearing. So not to focus on what happened in the past. The times have changed. Let me tell you, it is easier now to make money than it has ever been. It is all around you. You are drenched, literally. <laughs> seven of swords so yeah not being focused on the things that did not happen the competition that could be out there none of that matters you have your own perspective no one else in the world nobody not even your parents nobody has your perspective to me that sounds pretty rare so again, not overlooking it and and not thinking that's not going to happen because of a plan or always having to have a plan here. Yeah, play. <laughs> I love it. Deck three. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious. Listen, I had to learn how to have fun and play because that's where the money really comes. When I am having fun and I'm not even worried about anything, it just flowed naturally. You guys are going to see that. So it says have fun and celebrate. So this is what gets your energies up into a good place. Start dancing about the money that's coming in. Start getting excited that it's here, that it's coming, that it's here. But also understanding that you will practically have to position yourself to receive this abundance. Okay. Awakening. Yeah. So it says energetic upgrades, a new way of being integration. So you guys are going in through a huge integration of how you've seen yourself. Some of you guys could have been dimming your light just to, to, a little bit too low here. Okay. You guys have a lot of abundance. I hear six figures in the next year for some of you is, is already happening on your own. Okay. So this is just the start of it. There are different stages, but take it one step at a time. Don't try to expand too fast. Some of you have ambitious goals. Like I want to be a millionaire, blah, 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 which is great. But we also talk about that. And, you know, to be a millionaire, it's $83,000 a month. And if you haven't made 20,000 a month on your own, start there. Or start with where you left off, a thousand a month on your own so that you can see it's possible with whatever it is that you're doing. But what Spirit is saying is don't expand too fast because of your excitement. Just take it step by step, okay? Control issues, yeah. So this is getting out of the way, basically. That's why there's some exhaustion here with making it happen. I tried this, I've tried that, I took this class, I did this. Some of you guys may have been saying, I'm not sure exactly how this is gonna happen. It's going through experience. But this time that you go through it, pay attention to your energy and how you feel, your vibration. It says, utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you. So this is definitely something too that I wanna get some clarity on. Angel message for their wealth, deck three control issues. Why is this here? What should they be doing? Courage and ba bravery, power and intention. It's about knowing who you are. This is a lot to do with the sacral chakra, all of the yellow, yellow, believing that this is who you are. Yeah, definitely deck two vibes too. You guys could have been going back and forth because that's something too, is having the courage and bravery to accept this person. Because sometimes we accept how great we are and then we feel like we have to make it happen on our own. The control issue is just moving out of the way. I feel a lot of earth energy could be a lot of practical how people, um, how this is going to happen, how will this happen. And again, that's where you are conspiring with the universe and, and trusting that this is my desire. I'm going to follow this desire and what feels good. And I'm going to allow what I need and want to manifest because of the feeling good, the vibration of it just attracts it, okay? It's all about your energy. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading. If you guys chose deck number three, I want you guys to hashtag down below, it is done with an exclamation point because this is already here. It's now just you embracing and accepting and allowing this wealth to come into your life. All right, I'm moving on to the last deck, deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and higher self messages regarding your wealth. We're gonna take a look at your law of attraction card. So you guys got the number 52, you can look into that, see what that means. 
And your message for the theme is, in my appreciation, I allow myself to receive wonderful things. So this is a lot of worth coming through, a lot of value, understanding your value and what you have to offer. You might be overlooking for some of you, the best way to accomplish an improved environment is to focus upon the best things about where you are currently. So not focusing on, because it's like a train, right? It's like a domino effect. You focus on one bad thing and next thing you know, it starts to attract and show you all of the bad things in that moment. And so what spirit is saying is to focus on the good that is already happening in your life and just first, just indulge. I'm hearing tech four. It's a lot of emotional, a lot of worthiness. You deserve wealth, deck four. If you guys chose deck four, you deserve wealth. You are abundant. We're going to talk about this. Okay, so it says, your own vibrational patterns of thought have appreciation and can change vibration. Look for the good things about where you are. And in your state of appreciation, you can then lift these lim limitations and free yourself for receiving more in your life. So I sense that there's a lot more that's coming to you, deck number four. It's just being open to remove some of these beliefs about you believing that you deserve it and how to know if you deserve it. And what I'm hearing is this isn't gonna be something that you have to do or work hard to receive, okay? I wanna be clear here. Now, if you guys did not watch the introduction, I talk a lot about the Abundance Power Pack. So if you guys are looking for more education on removing your limitations, attracting abundance, bringing your ideas to life, please do look at the description box and the pinned comment down below so that you can get into some more of these teachings. A lot of this is about what worth you have in the worthiness that you're illuminating, okay? The key to your success and wealth, harmony. Yeah, harmony with yourself. We have a lot of sacral chakra vibes here. This is also creating. So this would be harmony with your creative self, your authentic self. Obviously surviving is necessary, right? Surviving and living in this life because we're still here, but also make harmony with your passions and desires by not neglecting them because these are what's going to be your energetic upgrades. You know how some of you guys have your monthly things that you have to do? Well, somewhere in there needs to be energetic upgrades, whether that's a meditation you buy or some type of investment. And it has to be a purchase because this is your investment to to remove these limitations from your own beliefs. Some of you have to see yourself spending $400 on a dinner. And even if you don't desire to do it, it's expanding your consciousness and understanding that when you are abundant, you have more than enough. So if you're worried about what you don't have, somewhere in you believes that you're not abundant. And that's where the harmony needs to be mended, okay? So some of you, it's just purchasing that jacket that's a little too expensive. And it's not being irresponsible, it's energetically expanding that you can purchase this and money still will flow, okay? There's a lot of different beliefs here that, that deck four I, I am really picking up here that is blocking abundance from coming in, okay? Now, let's just get your blockages for abundance and then we'll see who you're here to be. The lovers, smoke and mirrors, so some of you guys could not really have the, the clarity that you need to kind of see yourself in the wealth that you desire. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring it to the surface right now. And what type of wealth does deck four have in store for them? Charles Ponzi and RuPaul. Okay, so these are two people that represent the energy of who you are here to be. Some of you are trendsetters, okay? Some of you are into fashion, some of you are into beauty, but don't really understand how that could be monetized. How can I make money from this? That's, and, and, and it's understanding that money, the word, man, deck four, there's so many things here, deck, uh, the money, right? The word money, you should feel good about that word because you deserve that. And so again, these are all just, if it feels bad, then this is an indicator that it does not belong to you. This belief does not belong to you, okay? Give me one more person for the wealth. Wealth for deck number four. What wealth do, does deck number four mimic? Reveal deck number four's energy to me, please, and wealth. Thank you. Esther Lauder, there you have it. So those of you who are into fashion, beauty, all of that branding lifestyle, there's your confirmation. 
we don't believe in coincidences around here. So these, this is what, some of you are heavily into fashion, man. Okay, so Charles Ponzi is also someone who is known for get rich themes, but also not getting caught up in the wrong pyramid. So don't, I'm seeing some of you could be influencers heavily, okay? Heavily influencers. Youth never gets old. So some of you could be older, but you're still young. That's also confirmation here. A free gift can buy anyone. Don't sell reinvention without modeling it yourself. So some of you guys might even have swimsuit lines, clothing lines, yoga, jewelry, just so many ideas that are flowing around here, but you must model it yourself before people could start buying into this concept. So that's something I'm seeing too. Tailor conventions to suit you. A lot of you are going to be pioneers. Okay. So this is why it's so important to understand that you deserve it because even Esther Lauder, let's just take this necklace for instance. Let's just imagine that this was $250,000. I don't know why that number is coming to me, but we're not going to be afraid to talk about money and dollars because we deserve it. And that's why I'm doing more of these videos because money and abundance and has nothing to do with practical. It's the value behind it. Now imagine how valuable someone has to feel to wear that on their neck. Now remember, this is somebody's mortgage here. That's the type of value spirit is shifting you into. Loving yourself so much that you do not settle for less than what you want, because you have been settling for what you believe you deserve. But I'm here to tell you that you deserve more, but not to get caught up in people saying, oh, I can take your ideas and do this. I do see that maybe some of you could have started this, but worked with the wrong people, so it threw you off, okay? So scheming is what he's known for, right? So being, um, this person was known for fraud with millions of dollars, okay? this So there's a, the, a right way to do this, okay? So I definitely see that not getting caught up in what you build and making sure that you take the time, okay? Take the time to make a quality product. Take the time to make a quality product. So bespeak volumes, a showstopper never stops showing up. One more card for deck four, because I'm feeling tons of energy. Who, the wealth they're here to replicate for deck four. The rep, well, deck four is here to replicate. Thank you. So whatever this card is, again, we know that we don't believe in coincidences. So you are meant to see it if you're seeing it. Tyra Banks. <laughs> How many more confirmations? This is what I love about spirit. Pay attention to your synchronicities, your messages. 808 on the clock. Boom, like a native. So some of you guys could be singers. Okay, some of you guys could definitely be models. Model your business model. So some of you guys could be clothing designers, stylists, or wanting to get into this. And even if this is not you, you could be the one who's working with this person. Okay, that's something I also learned about this success oracle deck is that this is also about maybe who you're working with too behind the scenes. So some of you guys could be working for some of these people here. Okay, so it says signature walks include well-trimmed pivots, learn to be natural. So this is about your confidence, learn to be natural. So this is the type of wealth that you have. Um, let's just look at a few of these. Esther Lauder is also known as founding. She was a founder of many demonstrations in inventiveness with a multi-billion dollar business, okay? So she is also the daughter of immigrants and she is also into artistry. So she eventually built a kingdom and also sold to her classmates jars of hope which was her lifetime slogan. So many of you are gonna definitely connect with people through your message. I'm definitely seeing that some of you guys do have a message. Now, RuPaul, this is someone who is a designer into fashion, also a model and a trendsetter, definitely a pioneer. Some of you guys are gonna be doing things. Um, you know, I'm even seeing just movies and production and a lot of things here for some of you. All right, RuPaul is a supermodel, again, an Emmy winning host. So some of you guys could be looking to get into the hosting and then also with the Tyra Banks. So yeah, he was known for tailoring many, many of his outfits and he did take a different approach. RuPaul took a very different approach. So he's known as a trend center and a pioneer to do it the first time. So some of you guys will be doing this for the first time. Now looking at Tyra Banks. Okay, so it says to avoid the shelf life 
Okay, it says to sustain a business by being yourself. So she teaches from experience. She's a multimillionaire and also founded many, many TV shows and was also a best-selling author. So that could be for some of you. The land between. So yeah, this is harmony. This is merging the spiritual world. This is the four. So if you guys see 444, four, four, this is about the fourth dimension. This is getting out of the practical world. You've mastered that. Now it's about connecting these two together. Bearing fruit. I love it. So yeah, the abundance power pack on part four, we talked about bearing fruit. So this is from your tree. Some of you are going to plant seeds and have enough fruit to last you and your children. Some of you, I'm hearing that you have children. This is definitely going to take care of your family, whatever wealth this is. We do have some emotional things because you guys are, some of you are in past and it really makes a difference on how you feel. We have letting go, rebirth. So all of these things are happening before this wealth can come in. Some of you guys are traveling. You'll get inspired by seeing different places. Um, lots of beautiful trees that I'm seeing here. And it's also just significant for understanding that even a tree takes time to plant. Just start planting your seeds now and watering them. So this is a rebirth that I'm seeing you're going to go through. And this rebirth, let's see what this is about. Yeah, it's it's getting you to a position of queen of wands. This is someone um, who sits on a throne. This is someone who has a lot of creative energy and has ideas and they turn into something. It's not your job to know how it's going to happen. That's the universe and the intuition's job to know that because I'm definitely seeing that, that sometimes you guys get caught up on these creative ideas and you're like, well, is that like a, is that a business? Yes. Anything could be a business. So it is what you make it. So this is about, you know, even her, she sold herself as being a natural model. Um, RuPaul sold his brand as being a trendsetter. Nobody has done this, so I will do it. He didn't say nobody has done it. I'll wait for someone to do it and then I'll do it. Some of you guys are those pioneers stepping in the queen of wands. Yep. Nine of wands exhaustion. You guys could have been going back and forth between three. If you were going between three and four, three will be your next destination. Okay. Cause some of these people, they're still Esther Lauder. I feel like this is by the time you're at this age, there will be enough wealth for you. I definitely see something new coming in here with the Ace of Wands. It's requiring you to relinquish a lot of beliefs, um, a lot of worry. You know, worry is a huge repellent to receiving money. You deserve this. Progress, not perfection. Yeah, some of you feel like you have to be perfect to do it, have a degree to do it, have a better camera, have better fabric. I'm hearing very clearly you have already what you need to create profit right now in your life. Do not overlook your value and abundance. Don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus upon how far you've come and all that you've learned. Life-changing epiphany. It's a time of big blessed change for you and God is supporting you each and every way. This huge revelation is that you are here to do more and that you deserve to have money and a lot of it. <laughs> Let's see what's blocking this and creating this worry of money coming in for deck four. King, yeah, how it's gonna happen. King of wands, not having a plan, but it is gonna happen. We have the four of wands here. It's more so about your job is to feel good, to create and to feel good. And when people say, hey, where did you get that? And, and you say, oh, I made it. There you have it, there's a sign. So don't overlook what people are asking you for because that can bring in income right now. And because you could have been focused on money coming in at one particular way, remember with abundance, it will come in multiple ways. There will be multiple streams of income, okay? Called. So some of you have gifts here, soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. So some of you guys could be wanting to transition into helping people, even with the hope. Not really sure what to call yourself. Like, are, am I a life coach? Am I a therapist? You're whatever you want to be. You're a pioneer. Call yourself what you want to be. And what I, I do see is that you are bringing emotional empathic support um, to people because I'm seeing the lovers here and I'm seeing that you're bringing harmony and balance. This is another card for harmony and balance. But this is more so of balance within and with yourself. Lots of distractions. Lots of distractions here. Okay, we have keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand by you. Okay, this is also not being afraid to release money, not being afraid to spend money. Okay, this is also if you're afraid to spend money or you're worried about spending or what you're spending on or if you're micromanaging it, it's very hard to attract more of it because it's still in a sense of a resistance. Like, well, if I can't manage it, it shouldn't come. So yeah, sometimes we don't understand why 
money's not flowing into us, but sometimes it could just be us micromanaging it. So if that's the case, we micromanage and we're only giving our value to one job, that's the money that we can um, expect to receive at the end of the month. But if we open ourselves up and say, you know, I'm open, I have many things to offer. So may prosperity flow to your life and may you attract wealth because you deserve it. And you have so much value. And the more value you bring to others, the more money you will make, which is why Walmart is a huge company. They service many people, bring value and convenience. Where's your value? Because it's here. That's what you're going through right now is a shift in the rebirth of seeing the value that you have to offer so that you can then create and become this person. So many of you might even have dreams of certain projects that you've had. Let this inspire you into the more wealth that you do have here. So I definitely see that you are here to make at least six figures a year. And this is not for you to figure out how to do. It will just come to you without resistance. So some of you, this will be revealed to you in the next 